So in the previous video we completed the find and BST method which allowed us to locate a particular key within a binary search tree whose root was passed to that method and the way it operated is using three conditions with an else statement right here so the first condition ensured that the root node wasn't null if it was null then we would return root which is null indicating to the user that the tree is empty or that the key was not found and we'll see how we get to that part here in the case where the key was not found if the key happens to be in the root so these two match we just return the root indicating that the root actually this particular node that we're returning contains the key that you are after if uh, then if we've ascertained that the key is not to be found in the particular root or, or node that we're looking for at then what do we do next if our key the key that we're looking for is smaller or less than the key contained in that node we are examining at, the, at this particular point then we're going to call the find and BSD method once more but this time we're going to pass it the left subtree so we're going to discard everything to the right of that particular node we were looking at the root we're going to discard everything to the right and we're just going to pass the left child which forms its own subtree we're going to pass it to the find and BSD so we're calling that method once more passing it a root being the left child of the original root we were looking at and giving it that same key that we're still looking for and we're putting this return statement right here so that at the end when one of these base cases occurs then the result will be propagated all the way up to the first execution of the find and BSD method so this is how recursion works we have base cases and we have recursive cases right here so if this is the case if our key is less than the key contained in that node that we're looking at then we're going to call find and BSD with the left subtree otherwise then it needs to be that key that we're looking for has to be in the right subtree so we're going to call the find and BSD with the right subtree now if ever once we perform these calls we reach a point where we call a right or left subtree which is null so non-existent then what's going to happen is that we're going to return null right here and this will be propagated all the way up to the first execution of find and BSD the first call to find and BSD and we're going to return null to the user so null could either mean that the tree is empty which will occur at the very beginning the first call or that the tree does not contain that the key you're after so this is the impl the recursive implementation by the way these two conditions could be uh, combined together you could just put an or here root dot key equals key and you could remove these two lines so this is a denser version now let's implement the non-recursive um, the non-recursive method or version of this method so it's still gonna have the same signature find in BST and we're still passing it a root node and int key the key we're looking for and now what we're gonna be using is a while loop to simulate this recursion, that the recursion that we had here. We're going to use a while loop so we can go over right or left subtrees. So the while loop, the first thing it's going to check for is that the root is not null. And this root, we're going to be using that root variable to reference whatever node we are looking at at this particular point. Because that root variable, we're going to be making it reference the nodes within the tree that we will be examining one by one, either the right or left child of a particular node. So if the root is not null, we will carry on with our analysis. The moment we have a root that is null or a node that we're examining which is null, we're just going to return root and indicating to the user that either the tree is empty or the key is not to be found. So what is our first case right here? So we've eliminated this case. The, the other case is that the key is actually contained in the root. So if root dot key is equal to key, then what are we going to do? We're going to return root. But instead of returning root, I'm just going to break out of this loop. When you break out of this loop, it's going to come right here and return root. So the same effect is, is rendered. You could just put return root instead of break. The next two things, the next two conditions are essentially these two. We could just copy it right here. Copy this, put it right here. And if it happens that our key is less than whatever is contained in that node we're, we're looking at, so we're going to make root reference the left child. And this way the while loop will carry on, but this time with an updated root, which is the left subtree. Otherwise, what we're going to do is make root reference the right child. And there we have it. This is the non-recursive implementation of the lookup method.